Hey family, um, if I'm honest, I'm struggling a bit today. Um, those of you who know me well know normally words aren't particularly a problem, but I think this is about my sixth or seventh attempt to try and say something and of course um, want to encourage, want to be relevant, want to somehow within all the stuff where we can't meet, where we can't really do outreach, where it's so difficult um, wanting to find some way of us being God's people and to gather and connect and move forward. Uh, but I'm just finding it really hard, I'll be honest. Uh, we talked yesterday, didn't we, about Jehoshaphat's prayer. Um, I don't want to do, but my eyes are on you and it can easily be romanticized and we, we don't know what to do. What, what really, is the answer and we're not talking about good discussion or some new fresh ideas I'll, I'll be honest we've got um the big week coming up in july we've got our big sunday on the 12th of july at the end of that week we're wanting to uh stream to our community we're wanting to share the gospel and and i want it to be good and it's taking lots of time and lots of energy to get it right and put it together and be united and yet we've never seen, seen the thing well I've never seen the thing in this country that I long for that to be long for that to see I don't know what to do in uh, the Psalms and I often turn to those you may find the same when you are finding things a bit difficult a bit hard I love the brutal honesty we find there but there, uh, in Psalm 42, verse 6, it says, uh, My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you. And if you're feeling downcast, then I'm feeling a bit downcast. We've got to remember. Remember what he's done in our hearts. Remember what he's done in others' hearts. Remember the good. Remember the glory call to mind those things to find strength for today because we don't want to just tick along and be church our nation needs more than that I can't live my life sharing so little with so few in terms of the gospel in terms of outreach we don't know what to do but we do want to put our eyes on Jesus and I feel like for myself, just speaking for me, that worship more than ever is what's going to save us. We can think worship's about God. He doesn't need it, does he? It's about us. It's we need to see him. We need to adore him and love him and praise him because, A, that's what I was made for. That's B, that's what makes sense of everything. And C, I find my, my meaning and my reality and my purpose. When we realise that he is altogether wonderful that he is so beautiful guys can we can we gather um as one i know we can't do it in any place i i think for all of us and anyone who's been in leadership all the time you're aware of wanting to do the best you can do. I want us to have a fantastic church. I want us to be doing so many things. I want you to be happy. I want you to be fulfilled, enjoying being the family of God. And yet, we don't know what to do. We're streaming, we're putting out some videos. I know you are phoning people and praying for people. But I thought we need God. We are so desperately in need of something from heaven, something other, something prophetic. There's this great bit, I think it's in uh, uh, David's life. Can't remember, mine's a bit blank today. Um, where, anyway, the, God speaks to, God, to his people. Um, it's strategy for how they can win a great battle. And the defining mark is when he says, when you hear the sounds of singing in the mulberry trees. 
Yeah. So when, when you hear that, that's when you know it's time to attack. Like who's going to come up with that? Well, who's going to sit here and get a focus group, or all the best minds in the nation, best Christian minds, most wise, the people who've studied the most or um, got their church history in order and is going to go, do you know what? This is what this nation needs is when we hear the sound of singing the mulberry trees. That's the moment we know God's on the move and we advance. There is a realm that I've rarely stepped into where we as the people of God in this nation have rarely been, which is the realm where he speaks, where it's the stuff we can't come up with ourselves. It's not man stuff. Do you know that, you know, the mark of the beast, 666, it, 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 the number six it is the number of man. Number three means the best of, it's the complete, like we've got the Trinity, we're the best of God, all of it. 666 just means the best that man can do. And I feel so often my Christian life has just been the best that man can do for Jesus. We are in days when we need to find out what Jesus can do with man, what he can do with us. And I, I think I've always been aware of my own weakness and frailty, but I'm more aware of it than ever. I'm aware that we're not doing what God has called us to do. I'm aware that we're not living in what he longs for us to live in. And more than that, I'm aware that I'm not living in his dream. He loves everybody. You know, I love my kids to bits. Um, I've been really frustrated for my son, Ethan. He's had a bit of a bad, run of bad luck. He, um, his bike broke, which meant he rode, rode his old bike, which meant he and then unfortunately crashed and he's splintered his um, thumb here. Um, and so he's in a cast. Um, and then because of that, he's not been able to learn to drive. He's not, uh, there's a job he went for and didn't get it because he couldn't start. Um, and then his computer broke last week. And, and I hate it. I, I want all that on me. I don't want anything. It's only it's stuff, isn't it? It's not terrible. It's not the end of the world. Um, but I don't want any of that for my son because I love him. And if every person out there, if God feels like that for every one of them, I can't. We can't just let them go. We can't not to speak out and most of us would say we don't know how to most of us would be in a place where being a witness is something we've maybe tried and failed at or thought it was someone else but it's his world and it's his children so I don't know what I'm saying this today's video cast God loves you and he wants to use you. And I believe he wants to use us. But we don't know what to do, guys. And what you think you know what to do, how you think you know you can do it, it ain't going to do it. I don't know if the big week's going to be successful or not. But it's not about that. We'll carry on doing those bits are in front of us, but guys, we've got to get desperate and turn to the only one to put our eyes on him and to hear the strategies of heaven for your children, for your unbelieving husbands, for your neighbours who don't know him, for your work colleagues who aren't interested. We need the stuff from heaven. Try and put something in a bit more encouraging more sorry um there's um three times in the bible where the jordan river parts as i understand it once it's for the people of israel as they cross it the jordan separated them or was the barrier between them and the promise of god and then elijah crosses the jordan in the same way it parted for him to walk through and elisha then a few hours later uh, whatever it is, does exactly the same. And when those men of God, when the Levites with the ark entered the water, when Elijah, when Elisha did, the, the waters parted for them. And the Jordan represents the stuff that's a barrier that stands in our way between 
<laughs> where we are and what God has for us. Uh, I love it that the baptisms that John did were in the Jordan. That this baptism that represents us crossing over the, the Jordan River, which represented moving from one place to another. And there's lots of barriers ahead and there's lots of barriers now in your path personally for us uh, in the nation for us as church but when jesus entered the waters heaven was opened when jesus entered the barrier didn't open or close the jordan stayed the same but the heavens were opened and the spirit of god came down on him i think there's something in that I think there's something other that we have to see. I don't think we're talking about merely getting through some stuff or over some stuff or around some stuff, but we need Jesus to step into this place and for the heavens to be opened. I'm just going to pray and then I'll be quiet. Take enough of your time, probably. Step into our lives, Jesus. Step into the Jordan River of our lives. For everyone today who faces financial fear, Step into the river. For everyone who faces depression or mental health issues, step into the river. For everyone who uh, has partners or friends, family who don't know Christ, step into the river. Lord, you step into the river of our lives. And Lord, we look to you. Lord, not for merely the problems to pass or for ways through the difficult times but are we looking at this time for you to open up the heavens for something other for the spirit of god to come down upon us jesus step into our world jordan's all right love you guys speak soon